Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to show you how to go live on multiple different websites at the same time. So if you're a streamer that's looking to put all their eggs into multiple different baskets and maximize exposure, then this is a video to help you do that. And there's a service that you can use called Restream. Now I used Restream quite some time ago, and then I was approached recently to do a video on them by them. And it's the first time I've been willing to actually do a sponsored video. This video wasn't paid for though, because I said I like this service enough that I'll do the video for free, as long as you give me access to be able to show what's possible. So Restream was kind enough to give me access to the premium tier to be able to stream on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch all at the same time. And I'm gonna show you how to do this. It is worth noting though, with the free package, you can stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time without paying a penny, which is pretty awesome. So check out the link in the description to Restream and then go to the site. I'm gonna show you how to do it really easily. So the first thing you do when you set up your account is you log in and then you connect it to your specific service that you're gonna be using. I'm gonna use YouTube as the main one. So I've got a gameplay channel, the Provoke Prawn Pews, that I'm setting up as my main streaming point. And then I'm gonna stream using that, but also connecting it with Facebook gaming and Twitch as well at the same time. So I have this account here and I'm connecting it to Restream and basically giving it information about what the stream is going to be, giving it a title and a description and the game I'm going to be playing and other things. And you can see now we've got that set up so that we can then stream to that from Restream. And the way this service works is basically you're sending your stream out to Restream and then that service is sending it on to Twitch and Facebook. So you don't need extra bandwidth which is fantastic because even if you're on a pretty slow internet connection, as long as it's fast enough to handle one streaming service, you can then put out to multiples with E. So the next step is then to connect more channels. You can see I've gone through and I've connected Twitch, but you also have the option for a multitude of different ones, including Steam, Twitter, VLive, Mixcloud, Dailymotion, there's all sorts. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook Gaming as they're the ones that you need uh, for the most part. Now you can see I am connecting a Facebook page here. Obviously you have to go through your personal account and then select the right page from the drop down. I've got access to a few different ones, but again, I have the provoked prawn on Facebook and I'm using that for demonstration purposes on how to do that. And again, you can set a title and description and then choose the game for each of the streaming services. But one of the things that I really like that I'll show you in a second is that you can click a button to update the titles for all three at once. So you can basically ensure that you have the same information going out to each of the services as soon as you click that go live button, which is really nice because it means there's far less fiddling when you're doing this than if you were trying to manually set it up on each of the services, which obviously would be a nightmare. I'm setting it here to have that detail across all three with just filling out a few fields and clicking update all which is really cool now it is worth noting i should say that it is actually against twitch's terms of service to stream in this way to multiple services at once if you're affiliate or partnered so if you're actually agreed to partner up with twitch you're not actually meant to stream into multiple different services at once they don't like it there may be other rules around Facebook, I'm not sure, but for someone that's starting out and is new and hasn't got very many followers or very many subscribers, this is a great way to get maximum exposure across multiple services at once, which is pretty neat, I think. Restream also has a number of services built into it. So there's a few different tools. For example, there's a studio where you can set up and stream directly from here without any software on your PC. So you're basically setting it up really nicely in that way and you can do different things adding in video and sources and whatever else. That's not something I've dabbled in. And it's not something we demonstrate here, but it's pretty cool that it's there. You can also schedule events so you can set things up and have control of what's happening and when the next live stream is going to be happening. So there's a lot of powerful tools in here. And obviously it's a service that's improved over time and will no doubt get better in the future as well, which is pretty neat. And I really like it. You can also upload videos to it and stream them out. Again, this isn't something I'm going to go into depth on, but I will link to Restream's YouTube channel because they've got a number of different videos on how all these different services work and what you can do with them. So the next stage is a really straightforward process of basically connecting Restream to your streaming tool. In my case, Streamlabs OBS. Now you go into the stream settings on Streamlabs OBS or an OBS 
and select Restream as a service. So you'll see it there. And then if you're familiar with this setup, all you need to do is to access the stream key from Restream and paste it into the stream key box on Streamlabs OBS or OBS, then click OK. So you've copied it from the right hand side. You can see it in there on the destination setup page, for your channels. You can then just copy that key across into your streaming software and that's ready to go. And Restream is already an option in there. So it's really straightforward. And then when you click live, you're suddenly just live on all of them. So here you can see me on the Samsung G9 monitor, 49 inch ultra wide. I'm splitting it into two with the game on one side. And then I have Streamlabs OBS running on the far left and then two windows. I actually have three, but I didn't have enough room at that time to fit them all in. Streaming so I can check on the chat and also keep an eye to make sure it's all working properly off across the multiple different services. So I've got Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube all open at the same time. So I can keep an eye on them and engage with the audience. Now there may be easier ways to do this in terms of the chat. Obviously, if your internet isn't fast enough, you might find there are problems trying to stream, game, and check on multiple browsers all at once from your PC. You might want to do it from your phone, keep an eye on the chat that way. Or there may be alternatives. I haven't dived into looking up how best to manage the chat. This is something that would become quite unwieldy over time, I'd imagine, as you start to gain popularity. Having multiple browsers open with chat could be a problem. You could probably use a browser source to pull them into OBS and then have them visible there. That's not something I have done yet. I'm sure there are plenty of other videos on that. But what I wanted to demonstrate is just how easy it is to stream to multiple services at once. Restream is also really affordable. And as I said, with the free package, you can actually stream to YouTube and Twitch at the same time anyway. You just have to pay if you wanted Facebook and others. So it is pretty cool that you can do that as a basic. So you can get in and just give a taste and a test of it and see what it's like and see how you get on with it. My experience was really great, really easy to set up, really easy to use and a brilliant little way to get more exposure for your tiny channel and hopefully engage with more people. Obviously, if you're growing a following across all three, then that is a benefit because then you're cross pollinating and growing your brand. This has been the Provoke Pro and I hope you found this video useful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions and if you've checked out Restream or if you'd rather use one of the other services. Thanks for watching. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.